I'm Simon and I've been working with my colleague Martin to develop a website called cyclestreets.net which is all about finding good cycle routes across a city. People don't know how to find a good cycle route. If you're a car driver and you've never been on a bike or you haven't used a bike for a while in the area, you might not know where the good routes are. So it's our goal to basically help people discover new cycle routes um, and to discover that actually there are lots of places you can go by bike that perhaps they'd never even considered by road. The idea actually came from my boss when I worked at the City Council a number of years ago. She said, I think what Cambridge needs is a cycle journey planner. And so I got started on the project and I very quickly found that, that it was being used to produce 50 routes a day. And that was just for Cambridge. And so we thought, well, people do need this and people are finding it useful. So it's really grown from there. And now we're getting about a thousand routes a day planned on our system. When you go to the website, it'll show you a map centred on where your current location is. And then you can simply click on your start point or search for a place or a postcode, something like that, and then click on where you want to go, and then click plan your journey. And it'll give you three choices. It gives you both a quiet route, which is suitable for, for less confident people, perhaps people who are new to cycling. It gives you a faster route for perhaps people who are more confident but perhaps don't know the area so much. Um, and a balanced route, which is a sort of a balance between the two. Anyone who is a regular cyclist automatically knows how good and efficient a way of, of getting around a bicycle is. And it also has, of course, lots of environmental benefits because it's such an efficient tool. As you're cycling along, you're only using your own energy, so it's not only environmentally healthy, but it's a very healthy thing for you as well. Other countries like the Netherlands have very, very high levels of cycling and as a result they have a very good environment, people are healthy, much less pollution, many fewer traffic jams. That's the kind of thing we need to see all around the UK in the same way that we have in Cambridge, a very high level of cycling. And of course cycling is something that is very open to everybody and it's the perfect environmentally friendly form of transport. I think a lot more people would cycle if they felt it was safe to do so and tools like the, the one that we've made at cyclestreets.net can help you find safe cycle routes that's appropriate to your level of cycling. So automatically that's going to help people uh, do more cycling and be kinder to the environment. We need to get a lot more people cycling, um, particularly with the onset of peak oil and with um, CO2 reduction on, on that agenda. It's very important we get more people out of their cars and onto their bikes. Cycle Streets is set up as a not-for-profit venture and one thing that would really help us is to have more funding so that we can actually spend more time on it. If we were to win the Future Friendly Award, the bursary would be extremely useful for us in terms of being able to expand the system and tell more people about it. People should vote for us for the Future Friendly Award because we're all about improving cycling and making the environment a much better place for cyclists and walkers in their cities.